Good morning to everyone. Dear uh, President Kagami, dear Hulin, dear Irina, dear colleagues from the Broadband Commission, and dear guests. It is an honor for me to attend this session with the representation of Mr. Carlos Slim. He sends his best regards and apologies for not being able to be here with us today. I want to thank Madame Sun Yafang and Huawei for their hospitality in celebrating this important gathering. The fact that we celebrate this meeting in Hong Kong, having met recently in Davos, Dubai, Dublin, Mexico, and New York, is an indication of how global this commission has become. Recently, the commission changed its name to Broadband Commission for Sustainable Development, as we can see in the screens in front of us. In my opinion, this was a pertinent change. As we all know, sustainable development is a process of meeting human needs while preserving the ability of natural, economic, and social systems to continuously provide the resources upon which these systems depend. As stated in many UN gatherings, the world has not been inherited to us by our parents, but it has been lent to us by our grandchildren. We have to satisfy the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to satisfy their own needs. And broadband is a powerful ally for this purpose. Recently, the Millennium Development Goals reached their target date in the year 2015. Meeting these goals produced a better world. For example, in the case of Latin America alone, many benefits resulted. 118 million people were lifted out of poverty. 53 million people out of extreme poverty. 9 million more children going to school and having greater opportunity for their lives. Millions of women and girls having greater participation in society. Rather than dying before reaching the age of five, two million children were saved. 120 million more people with access to safe drinking water. And 140 million more with the benefits of basic sanitation, allowing healthier lives. And of course, these are not only numbers, but the lives and hopes of the poor and of societies at large. So the goals were important. Now the world has set new and more ambitious goals the Sustainable Development Goals to be reached by the year 2030. Many of us were at the Commission's special event in Davos early this year, as Hulin was saying. Many of us went to a dinner in this context. I remember a big wall in the dinner room full of 17 signs with the description of each of the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. As dinner progressed, I kept looking at this wall no poverty, that is, end poverty in all of its forms everywhere by the year 2030. No hunger and achieve food security. Good health and well-being. Quality education for all, ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promoting lifelong learning opportunities. Clean water and sanitation to all the population in the world, and so on. All this in the next 160 months. These goals are very ambitious, and it is clear that to reach them, the only possible way is to use broadband, to use effectively this era of good technological fortune. Think about it. How are we to provide quality education for all if we do not use broadband and digital content? It is the only way, as Irina was saying. To make progress in the context of the digital era, we need a broadband path to learning, to good health, to a better environment, etc. Digital technologies and broadband in particular have dramatically expanded the information base, lowered information costs, created information goods, increased collaboration among economic agents, and increased social interaction. It is clear that in this century the benefits of digital technologies filter throughout the economy and throughout society. That is why we must reach full broadband inclusion. If we do not, we will have a development divide that will limit sustainable development outcomes. If we do not reach full broadband inclusion, those left out will risk falling even further behind. In this respect, advancing in the four overarching goals 
set forth by ITU in the Connect 2020 agenda becomes crucial. Inclusiveness, sustainability, innovation, and partnerships. This commission can do much good to advance the SDGs. Its advocacy program, its publication program, and its policy leadership can be powerful instruments to support progress on the SDGs. For this meeting, we have a great agenda put together by ITU and by UNESCO, and we should make good use of it. I want to end by thanking once again Huawei for its hospitality and to thank each of you for coming to Hong Kong. I wish that we have a productive meeting for the benefit of all regions, and in particular, for the benefit of those that are in most need. So thank you very much, and welcome to this meeting of the Broadband Commission.